Hello everybody and welcome to Red Tape. This game just came out today. It just came out today, February 14th, Valentine's Day. I think it, you're like a receptionist for like hell. And you like, it's like a business office, but in hell. So I don't know, that just sounds like a cool thing to do. I'm gonna be calling God and be like, hey, Satan asked to fax over those papers. And Satan's gonna be like, I never faxed them over, <laughs> you know? And God's gonna be like, what the fuck, why not? And then I'm gonna yell f the devil. And then everyone's gonna get mad at me. And I'm gonna say, what the hell? I thought we hated that guy. What the fuck? What the hell happened? All right, let's get into it. Let's just jump right in. All right, I don't even know how long it's gonna be. Hell Inc, that's where I work. It's my job. It can be very dis... I didn't see what that word said. Discerning? Disorienting? But don't worry, we're here to help. Disconcerting? I don't know. Oh, is that the devil? Must remember these three tips. Tip one, follow your boss's commands. Okay, do not question authority. Okay, uh, okay, tip two, be productive. Work as if your life depends on it. And tip number three, help others. Hey, help me, torture this guy, okay. If it's hard, just remember, doom. Yeah, D-O-O-M, dominate our oppressive mommies. Don't be lazy. Obey your masters, offer your help, maintain organization. Remember guys, just doom. Just doom. Work well, you're in hell. Hell Incorporated. I love my job. Love my job, stuff? dude, seriously. Is that why I'm not seeing this shit? Oh. Oh. What? Virgil! Is that Ben Affleck? You know, that's a celebrity that I always used to get told I look like. People, again, I'm not saying I agree, but the celebrities I've been told the most I used to always get told I look like young Ben Ben Affleck. That's what people would always tell me when I was a kid, like like when I was like 17, 18. Um, that was one of the most prominent ones. Haven't heard it in a while, so I think I've outgrown the Ben Affleck allegations. You know what, actually? I think I do look like him. Hey, how you doing, handsome? Oh, the TV is broken again. Flimsy old thing. Huh? Where am I? What am I doing here? All of that would have been answered in the video. Who are you? Well, let me try to fill you in. Hello, my name is Virgil, and you are in hell. What? But I'm an angel, I can't be here. Technically, not anymore. What do you mean? You fell. It can't be. I was in heaven, then everything went dark. And, well, you must have got the game master really pissed. Not only did you fall, but you're marked high priority. But this ain't right. I need to talk to someone. I don't belong here. Oh, you knew demons always say that. When you were betraying the Game Master, you didn't think about the consequences, did you? I never betrayed him, and I'm not a demon. Well, I have no say on this. I'm only here to help you in your adaptation process. The thing is, you were an angel. You fell. And now you're in Hell Inc. Now you're a Hell Inc. employee. I think that's all the video said. This is not right. Well, keep your protest to yourself. What you need to do now is lose this angel form and be registered as a demon. But I don't want to. I want to talk to your superior. And you will. What you need to do is I say first. And what is that? To start, you need to leave this room and follow the corridor, 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 the corridor, the corridor, until you get to the registration room. Okay, but this ain't over. I'm sure it isn't. Task B registered. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm an angel who dropped down and I pissed off the game master. Who's the game master? Is that God? Is that God? Hell Incorporated. Oh, at least we got water in hell. You think the water is like super hot all the time? What if it's boiling? I want to check out the company restroom. Oh my god. This is what they say biblical angels look like, too. They say this is what we be looking like. That's why he said you look like an angel. You need to get into your into your fucking hell form. I'm still in my angel form right now, bro. Okay. I like my angel form, though. I feel weird. Dude, how cool. Oh my gosh. I like it. Angel form is kind of creepy looking. Kind of fuck with it. 
Welcome to your new job. Oh, hello. Who are you? Imar. Hey, Imar. Hey there. You must be here to get your demonic form, right? No, I'm an angel. Not anymore, you aren't. Now you are a demon, and you must look like one. This form of yours is too abstract. My head hurts. But I just need to talk to the superior here. First, get this physical form, then you could talk to him. Oh, am I? You gave me a physical form? Wait, I want to see what I look like now. I'm not... Oh, I'm not an angel anymore. Welcome to your new job. <laughs> Did you write that, Imar? Cutie. Cutie patootie. Virgil, Ben, Mr. Affleck, how are you doing? You just have to talk to Ugarit and Imar, and they will help you get registered and get a physical form. Well, I talked to Imar. Oh, Ugarit! What's up, Ugarit? I'm sorry, I didn't see you. You feeling blue? Okay. Hey, you. Must be here to get a demon name, right? I guess so. Actually, I wanted to talk to the boss of this place. You probably want to talk to the director, but you can't do that without a name, can you? I'm pretty sure I can. No, you can't, silly thing. Now be a nice demon and create a name for yourself. Uh, remember, it must be very devilish and scary. Oh, devilish and scary. Okay. Jocathan. Jocathan. Yes, that's devilish and scary. Who's not? Who wouldn't be scared of me? Press enter. Yes, Ugarit. I'm Jocathan. Now, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm a human. Well, I've got my physical form. And I have a name. Oh, use mouse wheel to switch between items. Lost to move. Explore the map and have a nice day at work. Okay, sure. Why not? Hello? Well, I got my... Oh, Virgil, I got my forms now. Nice! It's so good to see... It's so good to see... Nice? It's so good to see you nice and registered. Oh, I don't like that. Nice! It's so good to see you nice and registered. How do you like your new demon form? I hate it. I want to talk to your superior now. You, you can do that now. Just walk across the hall and enter the door on the right. You can't miss it. I'm going to fix this misunderstanding once and for all. I don't deserve to be here. Okay, I'm gonna talk to your superior and I'm going back to heaven. Red tape, let's do it. Listen, I'm not supposed to be here. Who do I gotta talk to? Aristotle, you're in hell? Aristotle's in hell. Okay. What if, and Ben Affleck's in hell too, I just realized. These are not their names, these are their demon names. Hi, how, hi, how can I help? That's how he talks. Hey, I'm new here, I'm an angel. Okay. Wow, that's cool, I guess. I want to know how I can get out of here. You can't. You're stuck here. We all, we're all stuck here. You don't seem happy about it either. I'm not. I hate it here. I hate this job. I've been here for more than a thousand years. That's sad. Yeah, I got used to sadness. Okay then, where's the director's office? It's behind you on the left. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh, that's the director. Oh, wow. Hello. Wow. This is a nice room. Who knew hell could be so colorful? It's so nice down here. Hello, Beezlebub. Hey there. You must be the new kid. Your name is Jocathan, right? Yeah, I think so. So, what are your expectations for working in hell? None. I'm not working here. I'm an angel. Oh, I see. You're in demon denial, right? Oh my god, they got a name for it. No. Because I'm not a demon. I didn't deserve to fall. Look into my eyes, friend. Do you think anyone has deserved to fall? Do you think anyone here deserved to fall? Hey, well, Ben Affleck, maybe for his horrible back tattoo, maybe. He, maybe he deserves Maybe he deserves to fall for that fucking... Do you guys look up Ben Affleck's back tattoo? He's got a gigantic fucking phoenix on the back of him. A gigantic blossoming phoenix on his entire back. Don't know why he did that. The demons of hell are hardworking. I bet they work 100 times harder than any angel you know. The fuck? Don't mess with the angel gang, bro. You think you don't deserve hell? It's hell that doesn't deserve you. But I didn't betray anyone. It doesn't matter. You're here now, and there's no way to go but down. Which means that if you play by hell's rules, you might be promoted and get a better position here. But what would a better position do for me? Well, your current position is as a low-level employee. 
If you want to get similar or more power than you had as an angel, you must earn it. You can have a good career here, kid. You only have to work for it. And how can I do that? Well, that's what I was taught. That's what I was going to tell you. As your first task, it would be good for you to know your way around hell. Explore a little bit. Do this. Go to this sector's floor and talk to the directors. See what kind of help they need. This sector? Yeah, this floor and the next two. Not that you would be able to access the others with the permissions you have now. What do you mean? There's a magic seal in the elevator that keeps you from accessing the floors that your role doesn't have permission to go to. But for now, you won't have to think about it. Just go back and talk to Virgil and to the directors of the second and third floors. Did you get all of that? Yeah, I guess. I think so. Okie dokie. When you talk to them and help them, ask them to sign this letter of recommendation. Then bring it back to me, alright? Okay. Your future in this company will be bright, kid. Believe me. Alright, it looks like I'm not leaving, y'all. It looks like I'm stuck inside of, inside of hell. I'm not going back to- I'm not an angel and I'm not going back to heaven. So I might as well make the most of what I can do here in hell. And let's get promoted. Letter of recommendation. Okay. What is this? Uh, Aristotle, do you know how I can get to the second and third sector? Hi, how can I help? Hey, I'm new here. I'm an angel. Oh, wait, you already talked about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know all about you. Well, how do I get to abandon hope? All ye ye who enter here. Elevator. Oh! He did say second. Oh, I only have access to th to the second and third. Oh, there's nine floors and I only have access to the second and third and first. So let's go to the human resources then. We'll save the cafeteria for na for last. That sounds fun. I love me a cafeteria. Who's here? Whoa, we got some nudie mags. Not nudie mags. They don't they don't do that in hell. They don't do they 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 they. they... Is that Cleopatra? What the hell? You're in hell? I mean, what the? What the heaven? They say what the heaven here. They don't say what the hell down here, okay? What the- Oh my heavens, Cleopatra! I didn't know you were down here! I need to find the manager. Oh, not nah, Cleopatra. Bartender? Who the hell are you? I don't know, he looks like a famous old guy. What's a demon gotta do to get some alcohol around here? Sorry, kid. We ain't open yet. Check back some other time. Okay, sure. Whoa! Damn! Look at them legs, Narcissus. Oh my god, hi, Narcissus. Hey, I need to see the manager of this department. You must be the new kid. As you can see, oh, he talks like that. As you can see, the heads of this department are currently indisposed. You may answer to me for your tasks. Fine, but if I do, can you sign this letter of recommendation for me? If you do your job right, then maybe I will. What should I do then? Let's start with something simple. Something even you can handle. Make me a copy of this document. It's impossible to screw this up. Okay, I will. I will. What the hell are you two doing? What the heck? Ishma and Deva. Ishma and Deva. Hello, guys. Just shut up already. I hate you so much. Oh, it's very mutual. Um, hello? Go to hell. We are already in hell, you stupid idiot. They don't even notice me. All right, I'm gonna let them keep fighting. You need me to make a copy for you, Narcissus? I got you. I got you, buddy. Let me make one. I'll find the copy. This is my first job uh, here in hell. Cupid! Oh my heaven! Cupid, hey! No time to chat. Need to copy, I guess. Can okay, who else is down here? Stuff? Ardat? Is that why I'm not seeing this shit? Ardat's got all that ass, you know what I mean? Okay, Ardat, I'm sorry. Yeah, no use to talking to Ardat. Oh, I found the copier and a hair trimmer. I don't know why I need that. But I'm like, Whoa! What the hell are those naked men? Why is there naked men at this desk? Yo! And a hair trimmer! Oh my god! Okay. Well, let's make a let's make a copy. Letter of recommendation. Boop. Boop 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 boop. Boop. Oh! Did I just sit there and try to copy my letter of recommendation? Ah, that's why! Because I need to copy Narcissus's thing. Crap. This one's not working. Oh. Well, let's go find another one. That's why, you idiot. You're copying the wrong- How did I fuck- He literally said it's impossible to fuck up. How did I fuck up? How did I do- What's up, Samson? 
No time to chat, need to copy, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna let Samson rock. Ah! I got a copy! Okay. Alright, later, Samson. I got a copy. I have it, Narcissus. Finally. Let me see. Oh my god. I was wrong. You somehow managed to screw this up. Oh, fudge. This is the worst copy I've ever seen. Nope. Do it again. I can't accept this. Here, try again. Faster this time. I don't have all day. <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yes, sir. Yes, I just want to get my ranks. I just want to get up the ranks. I just want to, I just want to climb the ranks, and I want to be the best employee in hell ever, since I can't go back to heaven. Here you go, sir. Open it up, open it up. Give me that. Wow, a five-year-old could make a better copy. Just wow. You know what? Forget it. I'll have Samson do it. I'm honorary head of department, not intern babysitter. Go see if anyone else needs anything. I don't care. So you're not gonna sign my letter of recommendation? Do not talk to me right now, okay? I'm sorry. I just need someone to sign it. Hello, ladies. Uh, do you guys know about Saskatchewan? Just shut up. Okay, no, they don't. Um, hello? No, they don't like me. They don't like me. They don't like me. All right. Does anybody else need help? Let's go ask them. Um, what was the homie's name? Samson? Was it Samson? Samson. What's up, homie? Hey, big guy. Need any help? Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? How do you think you can help me? With those tiny spindly arms of yours. Okay, Samson, I'm sorry. Bad physique, ugly hair. Okay, why are you coming for me right now? Jesus Christ. Why are you even here? Just leave me alone. I'm very busy. Narcissus asked me to do a bunch of stuff for him. Don't want to disappoint. Okay, Samson. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know if you needed help. That's all. Hello, Idlu. How you doing? Why are you so swagged out with the fucking the leopard print scarf, Idlu? Hello. Uh -huh. Hmm. That was hot. Nah. Too basic. Uh -huh. Not hot enough to work with me. Okay, that's why you're swagged out. Because if no one else is swagged out to your degree, you just don't let them talk to you. Is that, that what it hot. is? You should know your place. Okay, Idlu. My bad. I won't talk to- why is everybody so mean here? Everybody's a butthole. Would you guys like to help Cupid? Narcissus is giving you a rough time, huh? How'd you know? He's been giving everyone a rough time. Ever since he got himself the role of honorary head of department. More like stole himself that role. I'm Cupid, by the way. Wait, the real Cupid? The god of passionate desire? What are you doing here? Well, Christianity is pretty popular nowadays. They're not big fans of desire and erotic love. Can't you fix this whole situation? Use your bow and arrow to make the bosses fall madly in love again. I could. Someone stole my bow though. Probably that Cleopatra. She's had it out for me since day one. I'll see what I can do. Oh, Cleo, you f What are you doing? Give me the bow, Cupid's bow. Why would I want that dreadful old thing? I've had a lifetime of precious artifacts, honey. Unlimited riches. Petty thievery. It's not my style. But I heard a juicy rumor that Ardat has been acting quite suspicious. Oh. Come here, Ardat. I know that you stole Cupid's bow. Aw, you found me out. Are you gonna arrest me? Put me in handcuffs? Slam me against the wall? Please stop. Please stop. Just give it back. I really need it. Oh, I don't have it. What? But you said... Come on, babe. We were just, we were just playing, weren't we? Unless you really want to cuff me up, slam me against the- Ardat, that's enough. Okay, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Got any leads for me? Anyone who might have stolen the bow? Ugh, Killjoy. Killjoy? We playing Valorant now? I don't know. Idlu seems like he'd do something like that. Maybe he did it. I don't care. Idlu, Idlu, come here! Idlu, come here, you conniving little, little hobag. Idlu, please tell me you have Cupid's uh -huh. bow. Who the hell is Cupid? Uh -huh. And who the hell are you? Uh -huh. Sorry, but someone as great as me. Okay, your name should be Narcissus, Idlu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just send me to the next uh -huh. person. Uh -huh. hmm. Samson was looking a bit on edge lately. That's good enough. I'll talk to him. All right, thank you, Idlu. Samson! How you doing, Snookums? Can I have the bow? Samson, do you know who has Cupid's hey, bow? What you I know. Okay, well, do you have any other... Wait, you know? Who has it? Oh, right, anyway. I do. Hey, what you but I won't tell you. 
Why not? It's none of your business. What are you gonna do about it, little one? Damn, Samson's a bully. I just cut off Samson's luscious locks. I just cut off Samson's beautiful locks. Oh my god, look how sad he is. Samson! You should have just given it to me, man! I got tasks I gotta do! Uh, sorry. What? Why? Did... Why did you do this? This... This is a nightmare. Oh my god. Narcissus is never gonna look at me again. Oh my god. He cares so much about looks. And I'm a bald mess. You actually like that guy? I've been in love with him since I've got here. I thought you'd know that already. Gossip runs wild on this floor. Yeah, I'm kinda new here. If I may ask though, what the hell do you even see in that guy anyway? I admire his confidence. He's a man who knows what he wants. He's very smart and incredibly cultured. He's also crazy hot. He used to be kind too. But since this whole honorary head of department thing happened, I've been making copies all day. Why does he need so many copies? And why is he so picky about them? It's literally just a copy. I've been doing everything for him, and he didn't even thank me. Not even once. Aw, Samson. You need to find yourself better, Samson. Listen, Idlu, actually Idlu is just as narcissistic and rude. I wouldn't talk to Idlu either. I think you're out of luck, Samson. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Hey, Cupid might, Cupid might be able to help you out though. He didn't even care that I kept his secret. What secret? Oh, he stole Cupid's bow. He didn't want them to reunite the bosses. Hey, what do do? Don't tell him I told you that. Oh, I'm tired of doing favors for him. I won't keep his stupid secret anymore. Samson! But your luscious locks, Samson! I'm sorry, but I have a knuckle. And I'm gonna shove it up someone's ass right now. Narcissus! I have so much to say to you. Oh. It's the intern again. What did you manage to screw up this time? I know you have the bow. Give it up. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I used to have time for ridiculous office gossip back when I was a lowly employee like you. Now I have more important things to take care of. Now scram, go find something actually useful to do. Hey, can I borrow this mirror? Why do you? Actually, I get it. You look awful, honey. Like, absolutely terrible. I can't look even look at you. Here, honey. You can have it. Be sure to bring it back. What the fuck? Sorry, kid. We're not... Okay, I have a mirror. What the hell could the mirror do? What the hell could the mirror do? Maybe I gotta show Narcissus what he looks like? Maybe give him a mirror? Oh my god. What now? Oh. What do we have here? Who is this handsome devil? Oh, the things I do to you. Do you have the bow? Huh? Yeah. Can I have it back? Yeah, sure, whatever. Can't you see I'm busy here? Now where were we? Oh, right. I was thinking about how beautiful you are. Okay, I got the damn bow. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? Make the bosses stop fighting? Hello, bosses! Maybe if you weren't so freaking stupid, you would, uh... Wha Why do you look so freaking hot right now? I... What were we even talking about? I have absolutely no idea. I sound like Marge Simpson. <clears throat> oh, homie! Oh, homie! I love that big yellow penis of yours! Do you wanna... <clears throat> right here? Hell yeah! Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Okay, listen, ladies, listen, ladies, listen. Can I get your signature on this letter before you start fucking on the desk, please? I'm trying to get promoted. Sure, whatever. Show me this letter. Here, take it. Thank you. Thank you. Now just stay away from this office for the next six hours. Six hours? We're going to be busy with some very important work. Also, please give this bow back to Cupid. I don't trust you running around with something like that. They're gonna be making love for six hours? That's a long time. 
It's a long, lot of, lot of love making. I'll leave you two, two, two. They got straight on with it. Damn. Can I open? Can I? Okay, not. Okay. What are you? What are you looking at, freak? Jesus. Uh, my God. Wonder what they're doing. Probably hanging out. Maybe doing something productive. Definitely something productive. They're definitely burning calories. Okay, Cupid, take your bow. I don't need it. I got it for you though, Shorty. Did you do it? Yeah. Finally, some peace and quiet. You can now work in peace. You do know that we don't do any work around here, right? Thought you'd have picked up by this by now. Thought you'd have picked up on this by now. I had my suspicions. Here's your bow, by the way. Goodbye. Bye, Cupid. Bye, all that. Ardat. Sorry. Sorry, Ardat. Bartender, see you later. Cleopatra, fuck you. You still a you still a you still a little 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 biatch for real. Now I'm gonna go to the cafeteria and get another signature. We have one already. Let's go. The third floor, yes. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I get to working. Hello. How you doing? Sir Giame? Sir Giame? Hello. Hello, demon. Hello. Do you know where I can find the manager of this floor? You must be talking about the cook. He's in the kitchen. Thanks. Appreciate you, Sir Giame. Hello, Glog. Who goes there? Hello. I'm the new employee. Don't come too close or I'll take your blood. I'm giving him a country accent. Unfortunately, I'm a demon. I have no blood for you. Sorry. Oh, okay. Do you know where this floor's chief is? Oh, the cook? He's in the kitchen. When you see him, tell him I'll never work for him again. Oh, okay. Okay, Glog. I'll make sure that happens. Hello. Manaus. What's up, Manaus? Hey, don't bother me. Wow, I was just going to ask who's chief of this floor. You're looking for the cook. That son of a gun, he must be in the kitchen. Okay, thanks. Whatever. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Hello, fine demon. How are you doing today? Uh, hey there. I'm doing fine. How about you? My day is not going as well as yours, I'm afraid. Why is that? Me and my sinful colleagues have decided to put an end to the cook's tyranny once and for all. We are on strike. Oh. What did he do to you? He's a despo. He's a despacito. He keeps bossing us around and thinks we have no right to speak up. Well, now he'll see. Okay. We don't like the cook, huh? We're not effing with the vibes? That's the cook? Damn, bruh. Is everything okay? Well, let's talk to the homie. Hello, Winkers. Hey, you must be the new kid, right? Huh? Beezlebub said your name? Jockathan, am I right? Listen, kid. Everything has been a mess here for some time now. What is happening? You know, hell is not a very fertile land. And we also can't create livestock here. Can fertile? Fertile? Stuff? Fertile? Fertile? <laughs> how the hell? I feel like they I feel like I don't be knowing how to say words sometimes. And we also can't create livestock here. But there are some demons and ghouls that must eat. How do you get food then? So, we have some sinners that we call Prometheans. And they, well, regenerate. Oh my god, do we cut up? Do we just keep cutting off, like, their arms and stuff and eating it? Oh my. Yeah. But our current problem is, the Prometheans decided to go on strike. They won't even talk to me. They used to give parts of their bodies for us to prepare for food, and now, for some reason, they won't do it anymore. We just used the last limbs we had stored in the freezer, and the hungry demons will come any moment. And if they don't find their food, they'll come for us instead. They'll do what for you, sir? <clears throat> And I'm sure I don't regenerate. Then you want me to talk to the Prometheans? Yeah. They will not talk to me. Okay, but if I convince them to give their body parts again, you will have to sign this letter of recommendation, okay? I've never seen that before, but I guess it's for new employees. Sure, I'll sign it. Nice. I'll talk them over. Okay, I just gotta make everybody stop being mad at, at, at Porkers real quick. I'm sorry, what is his actual name? The Cook. We gotta stop... Box? Mice? They're too cute to eat. Mice are pretty cute. Why is there so many mice? And dice? Dice? Why are there dice in the- There's mice and dice in the freezer. What else? Lice. Ice! Actual ice! I could probably use this. Okay, keep that in mind. 
Keep that in mind. We might need ice. We might need ice. Okay. Oh. Anything else? I don't think so. Well, let's start to talking then. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Hello, are you by any chance one of those Prometheans the cook told me about? Indeed I am, my friend. My name is Mr. Hemsworth, and you are? I'm new here. I'm helping the cook. Why won't you help him anymore? That rascal. Always demanding and never giving anything in exchange. I know I am here to pay for my sins, and in life I was not the best boss, but it wouldn't hurt if he did something for us sometimes. And what did you want him to do for you? Let me hear you. Let me hear what you have to say. We're famished, but it is con contractually forbidden for us to eat on this floor. But the contract says nothing about drinks. You want something to drink? Yes, a beverage would be very good indeed. Something carbonated perhaps would do. And if I get you some soda, will you be friends with the cook again? I don't know about my fellows, but that would be f enough for me, yes. Okay then. Soda for Mr. Hemsworth. What about Manaus? Are you- you're not one of them. You're not one of them, are you? Hey, are you a Promethean? Uh, if that means I'm just a pawn for the cook to get his meat, then yes I am. I'm giving- I'm switching the country accent to him. He gets the country accent. You seem grumpy. Uh, yes I am! How did you guess? I don't know. Your expression? And maybe your way of talking? Uh, the question was rhetorical, but yeah, I'm fed up. I mean, what's the deal with hell? I get that this is a pit of eternal suffering, but what do we gotta, what do we have to give off some, why do we have to give off some parts of our body and get nothing back? After some eons, it gets tiring. Is that the reason you and your friends went on strike? Yeah, we were all fed up. I'm so nervous. I want my coffee. I haven't drank it in years. Do you think a cup of coffee would make you get calmer? I don't know, but it's been so long since I last drank a cup of joe. Okay then, I think I can arrange that. Coffee, soda, cup of joe. Cup of joe. Are you Promethean, Sir Giyama, Giyame? Are you Promethean? I am! Why are you on strike? Actually, my colleagues convinced me to enter the strike. I must admit, I don't know for sure how hell works. What do you mean? I'm a knight, and my goal was to find the Holy Grail. My place is in heaven. Mine too. How did you end up down here? Well, my search for the grail was so intense, I looked inside all the chalices I could find, and that makes me acquire a taste for the spirits. The holy spirits? No, booze. <laughs> In the end, I found the grail and was granted regeneration, but I came down here anyway. Oh, I see. And how can I convince you to stop the strike? I'll only stop the strike if my friends tell me it's over. And what if I bring you something to drink? Something to drink? Yeah. I might be able to bring something to you. Hmm. I can't let this temptation stain my honor. But a little sip wouldn't do any harm. Perfect. We have a deal. All right. A night's booze. We need booze. We need coffee. We need soda. Hello, Glog. Hi, vile creature. Why do you come to talk to me? You're a Promethean, aren't you? I've had the gift of vampirism for a thousand years, which means my body regenerates, so yes. Nice! And why are you on strike? Blood. I give all my blood to the cook, and he never gave me a single drop of the fresh stuff. I need f blood to produce blood. If I bring you some blood, could you agree to at least talk to the cook? I will. But you need more than luck, n as no vile creature from hell has fresh blood. I think I could find a way. Okay. We need blood. We need a cup of joe, we need soda, and booze. Soda machine. A bowl not found. Insert a bowl for refreshment. A bowl? A bowl of what? Okay. Well, I remember upstairs, I feel like there was alcohol and stuff upstairs now. But maybe, no, but that's a different level though. I have to do everything on this level. Right? Cup of joe! Ah! Who needs the cup of joe? You need the cup of joe. Hey, Manus. Manaus. Is this a cup of... <laughs> Give him a different voice every time I hear him talk. Is this a cup of coffee? Give me that. Ugh. This is boiling hot. You want me to get bur... You want me to get burned? Do you know how long burning the roof of my mouth would take to heal? I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Ark, take it back. I like iced coffee. Oh, I didn't know that. Let me fix it. And I know where the ice is. I know where the mice. I know where the dice. And I know where the ice is. Mice, dice. Mice, dice. 
my dice, my dice, my dice, my dice, ice. There we go. There we go. Yes. Put it in. Hello. I'm doing a lot of work for you right now. You better fucking bust it open for a real one. Hello. I got your iced coffee, my house. Is this a cup of iced coffee for me? It's your favorite, after all. Oh, thanks. I needed that. So many years without caffeine made me too angry. Do you think you can go talk to the cook now? Yeah, I think I, I think so. I hope he has the decency to give me a coffee break once in a while. I also hope he does. All right, my mouse is done. Okay, okay, okay. What else we got? Shit. I feel like I, I feel like I do gotta go back upstairs because nah, I'm not. I'm missing everything else, bro. I need soda. Yeah, and there was a bartender upstairs. Okay, I'm going back up. And an Arbol. Arbol? Is that what they said? Isn't that a tree in Spanish? Arbol? Obol. Insert Obol for refreshment. Fudge. I don't know what a ball is, bro. I don't know what a ball is, my brother. No problem. Uh, do I have to go back upstairs? That's weird. Let's try. Let's see. Um, because there was a blood container right here. And there was a alcohol bartender. Can I get a drink? It's a bad look for the newly hired to be drinking this early. It's not for me, I swear. It's for Sir Giame. Ah, one of my finest customers. Send him my regards. Thank you very much. And finally, I believe I need an Arbol. But I don't know what an Arbol is. I got the blood. I got the wine. What else I need? They still fucking? They said six hours, bro. They are gonna be doing it the whole rest of their shift. Okay, blood glog, I have it. Blood, give it to me. Here you go. Oh, wonderful blood. I love blood. Where did you find it? Apparently there are gallons of blood on another floor. What? That was blood? How could I have never noticed it? I don't know. But why does the cook need your, your blood if there's fresh gallons of the stuff? You offend me, demon. My blood is much more nutritious than mere human blood. I see. Will you go back and talk to the cook? I think so. He better let me visit that blood gallon every now and then. I'm sure he will. All right. I got the booze for you, Sir Giarme. Giarme. Do you have the liquor? Do you have the liquor? Yeah, I do. All I could find was this bottle. Oh, wine? I love this. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, this is very good. So after you're done, do you think you can go back to working with the cook? Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's everybody. So, is the nice guy gonna work now that everybody's working? Have you got that soft drink we talked about, young child? No, not yet, sir. So go get that chop chop. But, I don't know what a ball is. Fountain! Oh, ball! So many coins here! Wouldn't hurt to take one. Yes! You geniuses! I love you guys. To floor three, the cafeteria. I have an obol. I found one in the fountain. Use. Obol received. Dispensing refreshment. Soda. Yes! Soda! Give it to you! Wow, fine gentlemen. Okay, I feel like soda would kill you. When were you born? In 1847? I feel like the, the fizz from the soda would literally kill you. How about I is that what I think it is? Yes, sir. Oh, that's a one. That's wonderful. Give it here. Oh, this is scrumptious. So refreshing. So will you go back to working for the cook now? You can be sure I will. I hope he keeps providing me with these delicious beverages. I also hope so, my friend. Ah, everybody is on the cook's meat again. Mr. Cook, I did it, sir. Can you sign my paper? Have you talked to them? What did they say? Yeah, I convinced them all. They're gonna keep doing whatever they were doing before. All I had to do was give them some drinks. Bro, give treat your workers better. Give them some drinks, dog. Oh, my Satan. That makes sense. I never asked if they were thirsty. With these working conditions, I'm surprised they didn't strike earlier. Hey, do you want to get that form signed or not? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm gonna mind my own business. You better. Show me that form before I change my mind. Oh, he did not like that shit. Sign it! Here you go. Thanks a lot, Mr. Cook. Oh my god. You're welcome, kid. Come here later to eat something. Yeah, I guess I... Well, 
Thank you for the signatures. Bye, everybody. Thank you guys so much for your help. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Buzzlebee. I have it, buddy. Here you go, Hello. Buzzlebub. Did you get all of those recommendations? Not yet. So go out and get them. You're wasting time. What? There's one more. Wait. Who else is gonna... Wait, who else is gonna sign my shit? Who else is gonna... Are you gonna sign my shit? Hey there, how already sink in? Oh! Oh, what can I do to help? It seems like I need to get your signature on this recommendation letter. Oh, I went to the right person! Okay! Can I help you in any way so you can sign this? No, you've already done enough for me. With your tantrum. Here it is. Thank you! You're welcome. Come visit me once you get used to the place. I will! I will, Ben Affleck. Thank you! Mr. Affleck, I have all my all my all my signatures. All four. Oh, the cook signature is kind of cute. That's a dope ass signature. Okay. Be Beezlebub, I have them. Here, Mr. Beezlebub. All the recommendations. That's good to see. I knew you would fit right in. Yeah, it was easy. It was so easy. Okay, since you earned it, I will promote you to suffering officer. Yes! Oh, that's very nice. It was your hard work, kid. You can now talk to Behemoth on the fourth floor. He can help you from now on. Thanks, Mr. Beezlebub. Yes! Mr. Beezlebub, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I can go talk to the Behemoth on the... I have access to 456 now! Let's go! Oh, is this the bank? Hello. Whoa, money ATM? Please insert card. Okay, well, I'll try to find one. Oh wow, you have all the coins in the world here. You know, I wish I could I could have known this for my freaking soda machine earlier. How you doing? Syphilis. Oh, Sisyphus. Sissy. Sissy fuss. Sissy fuss. Hey, Sissy fuss. Hello. Are you new here? Go talk to Behemoth. He's in that room right there. Thanks. Behemoth. What does Behemoth look like? Behemoth. Hello. <laughs> Hey there, newbie. I heard what you've done on the lo on the lower floors. Impeccable job. Hey, he's nice. But I'm gonna have to get straight to the point. The work is not done. I need your help. What do you need, Mr. Behemoth? I need these closure forms for the three floors of this sector. It's ordinary, it's ordinary stuff, but I need them signed today. What do I need to do? You need to get them signed by the managers of each floor from this sector, which is this one, the fifth, and the sixth. I need them signed as soon as possible. The managers may be busy, so help them with whatever they need so they can sign this, okay? I think I can handle it. Three more signatures. That's all I need. Um, he, what did he say? The third, the, I mean, what? The fourth, the fifth, and the sixth? I don't know. Is that Gandalf? Hello? Ra Rasmus. Hey, pal. I'm a little busy right now. I'm looking into the future. Alrighty. Then I'll talk to Rick Carlson. Hey, pal. I'm a little busy right now. I'm looking into the future. Okay. What about Damar? Hey, pal. I'm a little busy right now. I'm looking into the future. Okay. Well, what about you, Balthor? Hey, pal. I'm a little busy right now. He should have said I'm looking into the past. Mixed it up on the homies. Mixed it up on the homies. Washing machine. Keep it. Okay. Washing machine. Big red button. Big red buttons on all their desks. Stock room. ATMs, we need a card. Okay, keeping it noted, keeping it noted, keeping it noted, baby. What's up, Syphilis? Hey, friend. I see you talked to Behemoth, right? Yeah, he told me to go over to the managers of the floors and ask them to sign these forms. I can do that. But first, I have to open this vault, which is harder than I thought. Why? Because I forgore the combination. Even though I'm this floor's manager, the ones who are really in charge are the... Divin, div, div, divinatory, divinatory mages, divinatory mages. Without the combination, only they can open this vault. Can't you talk to them? Those guys hate me. They don't even talk to me. I hate forgetting the combination, but it always happens. I usually remember, but this time it might be different. Sorry, friend. I won't sign that until I solve this. I could try to convince the mages. You would do that for me? That would be great. Here, take my corporate credit card. You might need to buy something. Just try not to spend too much. Oh, I won't. Oh, okay. 
I won't spend too much, don't worry. Um, let's go use the credit card now. ATM. Dispensing money from account name Syphilis. Yes, can I get more? Ah, uh, the ATM is off. Oh, well then let me get a shit ton then. There's multiple ATMs, bitch. User is already in possession of money. No more will be dispensed, motherfucker. Hello, Rasmus. I have a, wait, this is red cash. Red cash for the red man, here you go. Hi. Hi, who are you? Why are you here? Sisyphus sent me. Sisyphus sent me. Here. Hmm. What does he want? He wants you and your friends to open the vaults. Oh, we can't right now. Can you know, we're busy stuff. literally div no, divina divinating about how the stocks will behave in the next few days. For your information, we are the Can ones who hold the economic stuff? structure of hell together. Is that why I'm not seeing the ship? I get it, but you only have to push a button. Yeah, we can't do that. Maybe in a few days. Unless... Unless what? Unless you give us something in return. Like what? Well, oh, we like money. If you know what I mean. What you mean is quite literally actually... Is quite literal actually. So yeah, give us money. And we press that button for you. I'll see what I can do. Higo, Rasmus. Hey, hey, get this out of here. Why? It's money. It's dirty money. You were not thinking of giving me that, right? I actually was. Why is it dirty? This money is traceable. I can feel it comes from Syphysis's bank account. You have to wash this money to cover the tracks. How do I do it? That's up to you. Well... I guess I'm gonna wash this money. Okay, I guess. Thank you. Oh, clean money. I thought you wanted the red money because you're red. Money! Yes! Give it to me! Will you press the button? Yeah, yeah, of course! Precious money. Thank you, Rasmus. Appreciate you. Please insert card. Yeah, I got it. Dispensing money. Okay, okay, okay. Wash it, please. I'm gonna wash the money. Can I just do this real quick? Hell yeah, bitch! Give me that! Ooh, clean money. And then we put the dirty money. I'm gonna wash this money. Yes! And then we take... Well... I don't really know where there's any other machines, so I'll just take this too. Screw it. It's better if I get rid of this money I have first. Okay, fair, fair, fair. Hello, Rich Charlson. Rick Carlson. Money! Yes! Give it to me! Will you press the button? Of course, thank you. I got more! Money! Yes! Give it to me! Will you press the button? Yeah, of course! Thank you! Appreciate you! I gotta get money for you. Give me one sec, buckaroonie. I need to look for another ATM. Let me go ahead and draw my cash out real quick. Let me wash it. Let me wash it, because y'all don't want dirty money, even though I have to say the dirty money looking kind of cool, though. But I get it, I get it. You don't know where it's been. Could have could, could have been in between some butt cheeks, if you're lucky enough. <laughs> Alright, give me this. Thank you. Ooh, clean money. Here you go, Balthor. Money! Yes! Give it to me. Press the button, sir! Thank you. Alright, I talked to the... I talked to Gandalf and his homies. Alright, I talked to Dumbledore. Sign this paper. You convinced them! I can open the vault! Yeah! How did you get the money? Did you raise it or something? Yeah. For sure. That's great! You can give me back my credit card now. You gave me your credit card. You know how I got the money, Syphilis. There you go. Okay, let's open this vault now. Yes, let's see what's inside. Hello? Whoa! Is that a Spider-Man? Well, a Spider-Man. Safekeeper. Hey, stranger. You woke me up. Hey. Why is this vault empty? It just is. That's strange. Who are you? I'm the safekeeper. I have taken care of this vault since the beginning of time. You did a pretty bad job, as I said before. The vault is empty. You don't know, do you? Know what? So the truth is, hell is doomed. It always was. This vault was always empty, because hell was always broke. But how did hell maintain itself for all this time? Here in hell, we thrive on suffering, not money. 
On Earth, a vault full of money is normal. In Hell, an empty vault causes suffering. So Hell isn't in danger. It is! From inside these walls, I can feel a lot of vibrations coming from different places. Something big is about to happen. And those in charge know it very well. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm still a little drowsy. I want to go back to sleep. Okay, buddy. I'll let you go back to sleep. Yeah, I'll let you sleep. Thank you. You're welcome, but you know, you're adorable. You're, you, you creeped me out at first, and I will say your, um, your, um, spidussy, your spidussy is definitely looking at me while I talk to you, but it's okay. It's fine. Hello. Nothing in there, bro. The vault is empty? I can't believe it. That's unbelievable. You have to take this issue to the higher-ups. You're on the fast track to management. By the way, let me sign that form of yours. Just show it to me. Just show me. Oh, just show me. Okay, sorry, sorry. Here you go. Sign it, please. Here's the form. Great. Let me sign it. Thanks. All right. One of three jobs done. We finished Syphilis's job. We have to go to floor five now. Customer service and marketing. Oh, we're going to the customer service department. Well, this will be something. Who's working customer service in hell? I'm very curious. Kratis. Kratisi. Hey, hello. I've been sent here by Behemoth. Uh -huh. Hello. Are you the angel that just turned into a demon? I've already heard of you. Oh, what a surprise. Anyways, I've been sent by Behemoth to collect your signature on one of these forms. <laughs> hmm, a closure form? That's unusual. Ugh. What happened? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I can feel a phone ringing. And that makes me furious. Okay. Ah! I thought she was screaming out of something. I thought the phone vibrations were making her. Okay. But you work on the customer service floor. Isn't it normal that phones are ringing here? Uh -huh. Yes, it is. <laughs> but after some budget cuts, a long time ago, there's no one to answer the phones. <laughs> after some time, they get under your skin. Ah! I hear nothing, though. Uh -huh. It's because I'm a f f fury. <laughs> Not a furry. Not that's fury. That's not furry. We have very good hearing. Got it. Okay, I thought you were a furry for a second, to be honest. <laughs> my sisters are actually better than me at that. I don't know what they would do if they were in my place. Do you need help with the phones? <laughs> actually, I do. But you can't help me right now. Why is that? Uh -huh. Because if you fall into that pit, you'll spend the rest of eternity in the depths of hell. But how can I help you then? <laughs> First, you have to go to the res to the respawn office right there and get a respawn license. Respawn? Uh -huh. Yes. In hell, all the demons that have to work in dangerous conditions have to get a license. Uh -huh. That way, if they get killed or their body is destroyed somehow, they can be reconstructed in a safe place. This is interesting. Uh -huh. It is. And to answer these pho those phones, you'll need that license. Uh -huh. Then I can sign that form of yours when I'm not hearing this unbearable sound again. Ah! Oh! I will go get a license so I can help you with the phones. Jerry, how you doing? Jerry? Hey, I need a respawn permission or something. You don't get that with me, kid. You get that with Dusa in the respawn office. Sorry, you seem a little dead, so I thought I needed to talk to you. That wasn't funny. I didn't think so either. That was fucked up, man. That was fucked up. Uh, what the hell was that all about? Dusa! Dusa, it looks great. You look great. Your hair and everything about you in that green. It doesn't give off like a rotting flesh look, actually. It gives like a really nice green color. Is that your dog? Is that your dog, Dusa? Okay. Hello. Are you the respawn manager? Yes, it's me. One of Hell's oldest employees. You don't look a day over 23. I'm Medusa. But everyone just calls me Dusa. Hey there, Dusa. So how do I get a respawn license? It's simple. You only need to sign these papers. This giant mountain of papers, you mean? It's not that big. It's one of the smallest contracts. Okay, it's pretty big. Let's not be. It's not that small. Okay. Listen, it's none. None of it's. I'm sure the contract has a good personality. The biggest ones can be kilometers long. That's pretty long. Okay. Why is this document so big? Though? You know, dying in hell is a mess. It takes a lot of logistics to bring a dead demon back to life. I know it by experience. What do you mean? I only work here because during my first year in hell, I kept turning a lot of people into stone by accident. 
the process to bring them back was insane. That's why they created this office and put me, of all people, in charge of it. Oh, that's why she's wearing a blind mask. I mean, a mask, a, a mask, a blinding mask. What the hell is that called? Eye mask? I see. So I have to read all of this? Nah, nobody reads it. It's only the procedure. Okay, then. I'm going to sign it. I guess this is it. Now you are officially able to respawn. Are you sure? Yes, it's all done. You can go there and die with no worries. Nice, thanks a lot. Thanks, Dusa. Speaking of Dusa, do it, do it talk. Okay, I'm sorry, Dusa. I'm sorry. Hey, I signed it. I can help you now. Uh -huh. I see you've got yourself a respawn license. You seem different. I'm different than every, yeah, I'm different than all the other guys, okay? Are you for real? <laughs> yes. Those are the effects of signing an extra- Oh, that's what you meant. An extremely unnecess unnecessarily extensive document that has a technically simple objective. Oh yeah, I understood everything you just said. <laughs> Anyways, you can now talk to Jerry, the bony guy right there. Uh, me and Jerry aren't on- uh -huh. On the- on good terms. He'll open the gates for you so you can start answering these phones. Okay, thank you. Hey, Jerry. Looking alive, my brother. I'm sorry. I know. Listen, dude. Listen, brother. I need to, uh... I need to go in. I have a respawn license. Can you let me pass? For sure, my dude. Uh, Jerry's a cool ass guy. I appreciate you. I can feel the respawn essence on you. Thank you, Jerry. Wait. That's what they mean. I have to literally not die. I have to literally not die. Hey there, Hell's customer service. How can I help you? Hello, I'm from Purgatory's accounting department. I'm going to discuss Hell's debt. Debt? What are you talking about? The, uh, six quadrillion gold obols that Purgatory loaned to Hell about 100,000 years or so ago? Wow, it's a huge number. Yeah, I couldn't find a working phone, and I've been calling for some time now. How can we discuss it? Well, I'm really not able to answer that right now, but I could talk to my superior. That won't help. I need an immediate answer to this. It's a very serious oh, matter, and... Stuff? Hello? Is that why Hello? I'm not seeing this shit? They hang up. Or the line was cut. Oh, the line was cut. Okay, I gotta. Oh, this is too. I'm too much of a beast for this. Come on now, answer. This phone isn't ringing. Oh, there we go. Was the phone that I just answered not ringing? I swear it was. I swear it was. Helen, customer service. How can I help you? Hello, it's Glenn. I'm a journalist at Independent Uni United Press. I'm calling to talk about Hell's deficit. Deficit? Yeah, the fact that Hell's barely accepting sinners anymore. And that nearly all all the dead are going to Purgatory's medical center, or Heaven's Eleatorium. I, I really didn't know any of that. You can't be serious. First Hell closes nearly all forms of communications. Then we hear insider information of deals being made with oil companies. Now the first answered call in so long is with someone that has no idea what's happening? You can't be serious. I don't know what to say. I'm only working to help Kratos, the customer service director. Cut the lies, kid. Hell situation doesn't smell good. And if I were you, I'd start talking because, hello? The line was cut again. That's odd. Do all the lines just get cut? I think so. I'm gonna do a little jump over here. Jump over here. Oh yeah. Phone. Hello. Hey, bzz, Mr. Elego Fly. Bzz. What? The reception is very bad. Bzz. I really can't hear you. Bzz. I thought it was a B. I thought it was a B. Bzz. I'm calling. Bzz. I'm still gonna think it's a B. Why? Why are you calling? I'm calling to let you know bzz, how our child is doing. Bzz. Are they getting into much trouble? Who? The one that just fell. Bzz. The feisty one. Bzz. Bzz. Do they remember anything about the beep? Hello? Oh, about the beep. About the beep. Oh my, the lines are being cut a lot today. Good, I don't want to talk to these people. Dude, I'm like legit an employee for hell just getting all this work done. Hello, this is an automated message from Apocalypse Toys Co. This calls to confirm the shipment of 150 billion rubber ducks to the, to the de dependencies of hell. The shipment will arrive in four to eight working days. Thank you for trusting Apocalypse Toy Co. Why would hell buy a lot of rubber ducks? Especially when it's going through a hard time like this. So hell is a... 
is low key a uh, a failing company, bro. It's not working anymore. What's going on? I'm learning a lot of. I'm learning a lot about it. Hello, hello, hello. Who's this? You know who I am. You made the best deal ever with me. Come on, don't you remember? Okay, I don't know. Mr. Oil, Ego Fly, Oil hung up on me. Thank God, dude. So many people talking about their lives and shits. Listen, so like, I don't work here. It's only my third day out here, okay? I don't, I don't got the answers. I helped you. Can you sign my papers? Oh, the silence. It's so wonderful. I think I answered all the calls. That's perfect. Have you solved all of our clients' problems? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the strange part. Most of them were people trying to collect on loans that Hell apparently defaulted on or shipping confirmations. <laughs> that's not good, I think. It isn't. Uh -huh. Maybe you could talk to Behemoth to see if he knows something. Yeah, that could be a good idea. <laughs> Maybe he can figure it out. Oh, by the way, where's that form? Here it is. Can you sign it? I, can only I sure you. can. Thank you. That that's I'm great. Thanks. Check? Appreciate you, Critice. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go to marketing now and get my third stamp because that's what we gotta do. All right, floor six. This is the marketing department. What the hell is going on in the marketing department? Bear. Hello there. Hello there, friend. What do you need today? How does a bear talk? In a deep voice, but I don't have one, so. I'm looking for the manager of this floor. Oh, you mean the managers? They're in the room next door. Thanks. The room next door. This one. Uh, what the fuck? This is hell. This is hell. My God. The Minotaur. Hello. Who are you? I'm the Minotaur. I protect this bridge. From what? From anyone that tries to cross it, I guess. Why? I... I don't know. That is strange. I mean, if you're happy there, you're happy there, bro. I'm not gonna step on your turf, bro. That's all you. What the hell's going on? Why does Satan look so sexy? Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a glass one. Hello. Whoa. The three Moye, Moy, Moira, Moire, Moake, Moye. Oh, yeah. Hello, child. Oh, yeah. We see your path has been very hard. Oh, yeah. We also see what you want from us. You want that form signed by us, right? I guess so. But your path isn't finished yet. We need your help, noble demon. We feel a huge disturbance ahead, and you are the only hope. What do you mean? You will bring back hope. Hope that there is justice, even in the most vile place. Social media. That's where hope lies. That's where hope lies. Take this phone and get your fellow employees to follow hell on social media. You want me to gather followers for the company page? Yes, that's pretty much it. Gather at least 10 followers, so then we can sign your form. And you can continue your journey. Okay then, I will do that, okay. Listen, guys, can you guys do me a favor so we can win this game? Go follow hell, please, please. Please follow hell on uh, LinkedIn, thank you very much. Hey, Mr. Bear, can you follow? 99 out of, I need 10 more followers, Bear. Hello. The Moiras asked me to gather follows for the Hell Inc. social media page. Could you follow? Hello. Of course, here it is. Wow, you have a lot of followers. Hello. Yeah, people used to follow me a lot. Oh, <laughs> kitty patootie, thank you. Hello, would you like to follow me on social media? Hey there, Mr. Minotaur. Would you care to follow Hell Inc. on social media? I. I don't have one of those, I guess. Oh, I see. Thanks anyway. I like him. Minotaur's my friend. He's a cutie patootie. He's my friend. I like him a lot. Well, I'm gonna get other people to sign to, to follow, I guess then. Let's go to which, hmm. Do we think accounting will follow? Hey, yeah, they're gonna follow. They'll follow. All right, nine more followers. Hello, would you care to follow? Hello, Syphilis. Hello, Mr. Syphilis. Could you follow Hell on social media? I sure will. I love to check my social media. I get sad because of it every day, but the next day, I'm there again. Too real. Too real. Meet me, me with social media. Hello, Behemoth. Is the big boss gonna follow on social media? Can you follow? I won't follow him. Leave me. That's what I thought. Do we think that the four wizards will follow? 
Gandalf and his homies? Do you have social media? Hey, would you follow Hell on social media? They're gonna all say the same thing. Hey, get out. Okay. Jeez, you all suck. All of you guys suck. All of every single one of you guys sucks. Big fat chorizo. Okay? Damn. Ugh, what else do I go to? Customer service? Go back to customer service. I'm sure some of them will sign. I know we got some cutie patooties down there that will definitely be down. Kratos, will you sign? Hey, Kratos. Do you want to follow the company on social media? Sorry, I can't. Uh -huh. My sisters can't see that I have a social media account. They'll ask me why I don't follow them. And why don't you follow them? All they do is send me rants. Eh, fine. Uh, Jerry is a real one. He follows for sure. Hey, Jerry. Would you mind following Hell Inc. on social media? Sure, I love... I love scoring while I have nothing to do. Yep, I know. Thanks, buddy. I knew you would. Is Cleopatra gonna... I mean, Dusa gonna do it? Hey, Dusa. Would you mind following Hell on social media? I wouldn't, darling. Thanks for asking. Oh, I wouldn't mind. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Thank you. Thank you for following. Six more. Let's go to accounting. No, we were just at accounting. Cafeteria. Oh, I know the homies eating grub are definitely gonna follow. They they got my back. Hello, 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 hello. Sir Giame. Hello, sir. Can you follow Hell on social media? Yeah, yes, of course, my friend. Thank you, sir. Glog, will you follow? Hello, Glog. Can you follow Hell Inc. on social media? I can't. I only follow my prey into the night. Okay, fair enough. Me too, to be honest. That's fine. What about you, Mimosa? Hey, can you follow Hella Inc. on social media? Uh, yeah, after that cup of coffee, I can get into the web with no worries. Thank you very much. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Hello, Mr. Hemsworth. Can you follow Hell on social media? I'm too old. That's not how he sounds. I'm too old for that. Okay, well, thank you for trying. Hello, Mr. Cook. The Cook. Hey, Cook. Can you take a little time and follow Hell on social media? <laughs> of course, friend. Thank you, Cook. Appreciate you. Thank you, Mimosa. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Glog. Keep doing your thing, homie. We need three more people to follow. Let's go to human resources now. All right. Oh, she's not gonna, you think you're too good for everybody. Let's just ask. Cleopatra, would you like to follow? Hey there, Cleopatra. Can you follow Helenk on social media? The gall asking for my help after giving away my precious mirror. You're lucky that I take social media very seriously. I'll follow but only on the condition that you follow me back. You know Cleopatra's one of those. I'm not following shit back. What about you, Mr. Bartender? Hello, can you follow Hell on social media? I can't do that. Can't you see I'm mixing drinks? All right, I can't actually. <laughs> okay. Ah, Cupid got me. Hey, Cupid. Do you want to follow Hell Inc. on social media? Of course, count me in. Thank you, Cupid. Ah, Ardat, you got me? Hey there. Hello, can you follow Hell on social media? Sorry, babe. I would if I could, but I lost my phone. That's sad. That's sad. That sounds fake a little bit too. I just need one more follower. Oh, the six hours is done? Oh my God, how are you guys? Would you guys like to follow? Hey there, can you follow the company on social media? Sure, we'll follow it with our couples account. Thanks, thank you guys. You reached a thousand followers, let's go. I appreciate it. I'm glad you guys could take a second out of your, uh, your frick fest. Uh, customer service marketing. All right, dude, I'm a beast. I'm the best employee ever. I'm doing every, I deserve to be at the very tip top baby. Hello, Moire, Myra. You did it. Oh, how do they talk? You did it. They talk very spiritually, spiritually. You gathered the followers. The social media page is a success. There is hope in hell. Yeah. The strings of destiny were strengthened today. Thanks to you, and thanks to you again. They'll be even stronger. Now show us that fat, a fa that fat, the fatted document. Here you go, here you go. The document is signed. Now go. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. I got all three signatures. Let me go back to accounting to talk to Mr. Behemoth. Oh, Mr. Behemoth. I have all the paperwork done that you asked. It only took me forever, but it's done. Did you already get the signatures? You're too fast. Yeah, I guess so. Your work was great. These forms are essential for the future of the company. Speaking of, I noticed some strange things while talking to the managers of the floors. There's something, there's some irregular stuff going on. 
Regular? What do you mean? Well, for starters, the accounting vault is empty. The customer service floor has no customers. There's rumors that something bad is happening to the company. It looks like something is keeping hell from making progress. And higher management doesn't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ignore the way they spelled whoa. We're gonna let that slide this once. We're gonna let it slide. I should close this fucking game and end the stream right now, to be honest. But I'm gonna let it slide this once, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Are you talking about a conspiracy? I don't want to use that word, but it all seems so strange. Hey, kid. If I were you, I would focus on working hard, continuing to evolve, and not listening to rumors about other employees. Remember, gossip is on the second floor. Do you want to work there again? No, sir. I thought so. I can assure you, hell is going to be fine. We've been on this path for eons, and we're not going to be shaken by a little recession. We can withstand a lot more. Okay, then. Okay, let's move on to the good stuff. You've been promoted! Seriously? Yeah! You're working for Baphomet now. He's on the seventh floor waiting for you. That's good, I guess. Cheer up, kid. You deserve it. Look, we have every single button unlocked now. Legal, planning, VIP. We'll save VIP for last. Let's go to legal first and see what they want us to do. All right. Whoa! Hello. See you later, alligator. I'm a crocodile. Okay, sorry. Croco! Do you have an appointment? Uh, I guess not. Mr. Malakata only sees people who have appointments. Now scram. I'm gonna just continue to walk and talk to Baphomet. Hello, Baphomet. How are you? Wow, you are the most. Oh, wow! Your legs are so nice. Did you. Oh, they look so silky smooth. Okay. Why are we spending money on ducks when the company's crashing? Eh, whatever. Hello, Baphomet. Oh, Hey there, Jonathan. How are you? How do you know my oh, name? Well, well you your work precedes you. Oh, I have been hearing about you from Be Beezlebub and Behemoth for some time now. Wow, that's great, I guess. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to do a big task for me? I think I am, but I have something to talk to you about first. Oh, Go ahead. So, I've been hearing some things around the building. While I was doing some errands for the directors, I'm a little worried, actually. The vaults are empty. I answered some strange calls talking about an oil sale and about hell owning, owing a lot of money to purgatory. Oh, ha ha ha. That's the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. It's not a joke, sir. It's serious. I tried to talk to Behemoth, but he seemed to just brush it off. Oh, Listen, I understand that you're new here and you might be and you might not and you might be feeling overwhelmed. Oh, but I assure you. I have everything under control. If Behemoth said to brush it off, then do it. But sir, hey, why don't you do this? Do a little errand for me, simple stuff. Then talk to Malakota on this floor. On this floor. Do a little errand for me, simple stuff? Who's that? He's Hell's lawyer. He'll tell you everything is fine. And what is the errand? Deliver these letters to the Princess of Hell on the VIP floor. The last one. Oh, they seem important. What is it? It doesn't matter, okay? Don't open them. Okay. If you want to talk to Malakota sometime, just say a riddle to his secretary. If you fool the crocodile, they'll open Malakota's office and you'll be able to talk to him. Okay then. Now go, kid. And don't stress over those dumb matters. I don't know why I am stressing, bro. I just, again, only my third day out here. Why am I pretending like... It's, it, I don't got to. Well, if I want to talk to Malakota... He said I have to t give a something to the secretary, but then he wants me to deliver these letters to VIP. So I guess I'll go do that first. All right. Hey, Croco. Do you have an appointment? No. Oh, I have a riddle. Yes, I have a riddle. What? Yes, a riddle. Say it, say it, say it now. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you having problems? What is something that the more you go up, the more you also go down? Oh, that's a good one. Is it a ladder? No, you're wrong. You have one more try. Hmm, uh, grr, I don't know. Damn it, a road, a pit, an elevator. No, none of those. <laughs> you go up, you also go down. Hello, what are we talking about? What is it then? The path of sin. Seriously? 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, seriously? Yep. Now let me talk to Malakota. Okay, you won. I bet Baphomet asked you to tell me a riddle. Yep, it was him. You know you could have just told me he sent you. It would have been enough. Okay. Would it have been? You didn't let me in earlier. I, I, do you, have you not heard about Jockathan? I'm working my way up this company. Malakota! Oh my god, are you the head chief? Oh my god, Malakota. You're the most normal looking person here. <laughs> you just got horns out of your head. Hey, dude. Hello, Mr. Malakota. Hey there. You're the recently fallen angel, am I right? Yes, I guess I am. Not too many angels fall nowadays. But let's change subjects. To what do I owe the pleasure? Man, he's nice. Thank you, Mr. Malakota. Everyone here has, has been kind of rude to me. Well, not everybody, actually. A lot of people have been very cool. Well, Baphomet told me to talk to you if I was worried. Worried about what? I've been hearing some serious rumors around town. Like what? More than one person I talked to said that something very bad was going to happen to Hell. And some of them were clairvoyant. I know how to read that word because of another game I play. <laughs> I see. And you're worried because you heard some rumors? Actually, yeah. I also talked to the guys at accounting and Hell's vaults are empty. And in customer service, I heard that Hell is not accepting people any in anymore. That's strange. But you don't have any concrete proof, do you? I don't. I only heard things. Yeah, we can't do much with that, can we? I guess we can't. But I can assure you, friend, Hell is in good hands. Earth has been passing through some recessions lately, and that reflects in Hell. But that's nothing to worry about. We've been through worse. Everyone tells me that. But it doesn't ease my anxiety. I know. But that's not that's how things are. Yeah, I guess we can't see the future. Wait, maybe you can. What do you mean? You see, this floor used to be a huge library once. We salvaged some books and turned them into my office. But there's one book. One book that's stuck in a room no one can access. In years. Oh, you mean the room to the right of the elevator? Yeah, that one. There's a book inside it. The Book of Destiny. Everything that has happened is happening and has yet to happen is written in there. And why is, and why is the room locked? I guess an intern locked it from the inside, and something happened to them. Wow. Yeah. But like I said, the room is locked, and we don't have another and we don't have another key. But if the tales are correct, there is a portal that leads into that room. A portal? Yes, they say somewhere in hell. There's a bridge that leads to a portal. Oh, I might have seen something like that. But the bridge is guarded by a terrible beast, so you have to be careful. If that's the same bridge I'm thinking of. The myths might be a little exaggerated. Anyway, if you can find a way into that portal and into the room, you might get the book. That would be great. And I will also be able to see what horse will win the race next week. Yeah. Wait, what? I do a little horse betting on the side. Oh my god. Isn't it a little immoral to use a book with everything written in it inside to know which horse you should bet on? I'm a lawyer. There's nothing immoral to me. Okay, then. I'm going to go find that book. Great. We have a book to find. We have some letters to give on VIP. He said locked room to the right of the elevator. Is he talking about this one? This one requires a portal. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the let's go to the VIP floor first before we start jumping. Jump into assumptions. Well the upside down cross really brings everything together. Hey Dante. Hello, being of light. How do you know I'm an angel? Because I do. I need to speak with the Princess of Hell. I have letters to deliver to them. Unfortunately, I cannot let you in. But Baphomet himself sent me here. I know, divine creature, but he knows very well that I would not let you pass. Why? Because you are still an angel. He wants to train you for some reason. I mean, yes, I am an angel, but I need to enter the floor. Something is wrong with Hell, and I need to talk to the devil and deliver these letters. Your goals are noble. And that is why I cannot let you pass. Okay. This floor is reserved for traitors. Only those who would do anything for their own interests. Okay. They're the dirtiest, wisest, and most terrible of creatures. Okay. And even if I wanted to, I could not let you pass. Because I have been trying to pass for years and never succeeded. Why do you want to go okay. there? Because my loved one is in heaven. At the Alatorium. Okay. And there is only one way to enter there. Going through the devil's den. Okay. 
But this floor knows if you are a true traitor, and none of us are. Therefore, we will not pass. So I would have to do something shady for you to let me pass. Yes. What if I somehow bribe you? There is nothing in the world that I would accept. Nothing at all. Nothing that you desire. The only thing that I desire is in heaven. How I miss her. Simp! What a simp! Nana, why is he just showing us his side profile? I barely remember her face. I had an amulet with her photo, but I lost it somewhere in hell. Hmm, maybe that's a hint. What did you say? Nothing. Very well, go creature, and continue your journey through hell. Okay. Amulet. What if I just walk through? I can't. Okay. We have an amulet to get. Well, then I guess we will. Uh, we haven't been to the planning floor. Let's go see what's waiting for us over there. What a nice elevator. I just noticed that. Oh my god, is that a bird? No, that's David. Hey, David. Oh my dear, oh my dear. Why are you so worried? Can't you see? There's a bomb on the table. Wow, why is it there? I don't know. I'm just an intern. I went to the second floor to make copies and when I came back, it was here. Portal? That's serious. Oh my, if I don't do something about it, I will totally get fired. Or you might die. After all, it's a bomb. Oh, that doesn't worry me. Anyway, can you help me? I guess. Do you have any clue who planted the bomb here? I don't know. It was one of them. The planners. That doesn't help me. I really don't know. They're capable of anything. They've been at war for ages. Why? Planning. Each one of them thinks that their plan is more fit effective than the others. They've become so obsessed they started a war. Wow. It's a bit radical. It doesn't matter. If this bomb shows up in my report, I can say goodbye to this job. I will talk to them and try to see which one put the bomb. Thanks a lot, Fran. You're welcome, David. David, are you all birds down here? Cool. Cool. Okay. Hey, Debbie. Oh my god. You give me Debbie Ryan vibes. I just feel it from you. Hey, cool cat. Hey there. Hi, what do you want? I want to know about that bomb. Do you know something about it? I might know. Will you do something about it? I just want to disarm it so this floor doesn't blow up. If it blew at least, the other guys would learn a lesson. What do you mean? They have wrong ideas about what planning means. And what do you think planning means? I think only the ones capable of doing it, which is us, must do it. You don't see me meddling with matters of other floors, do you? I guess not. Exactly. But the other guys don't see it. And Joey is the dumbest of them all. He and that sparrow, David the intern. Actually, I think I heard Joey saying something about a bomb. Have you? Yeah, that crow has something to do with that for sure. And how can I make him confess? Well. I see he and his friends steal a lot of coins and shiny stuff. I'm sure he likes those type of things. Shiny things. Yeah. I'll try to find something. That guy will get hypnotized. From shiny things? Distract the crows. From shiny things. Shiny things to distract the crows. Oh, hey, HR. Hey there. What's up? Who are you? I'm here because uh, David is worried about that bomb. That guy, he can die worried if we want. Why? He's a clown. Always trying to make peace. How will we make peace if I'm working with those dumb guys? The other planners? Yeah. Those guys want to live in the Stone Age. That's their problem. But they want to drag the company with them? Now it's personal. Stone Age? Yeah. They hate the idea of us using computers to do all the planning. It's so simple and, it, and intuitive. You only have to sit down and press some buttons on the keyboard. Seems easy. It is, but guys like that clown Debbie want to do everything manually. I wouldn't be surprised if she had something to do with that bomb you mentioned. Why is that? You seem like her style. She loves to seem mean and dangerous, but is a coward. What do you mean? That lady is afraid of any kind of threat. If you threaten her, maybe she would let something out about the bomb. Would she? She sure would, if you do it with a weapon. She will be very scared. Noted. Yeah. You want me to grab a weapon and threaten this bird pigeon lady? That's a lot. Okay. I guess I could find one. Oh, dude, hello. Hey, Joey. Joey's the coolest motherfucker here. Hey, are you one of the planners? 
Why? Were you sent by the others? Like my bird voice, my crow voice? That's a ghost. Sounds like a witch. No, I'm here because of that bomb. <laughs> oh, that? I have nothing to do with that. Are you sure? <laughs> yep. What are you? A narc or something? No, no. I'm just worried that this floor might get blown up into pieces. <laughs> Would it be so bad? They already want to destroy Hell's planning system. Why is that? <laughs> they want all the planning to be done here by them instead of letting everyone have a voice. <laughs> they said everything will get held up if we wait for others to chime in. <laughs> but in the end, all that does is make the rest of Hell upset when they do something no one wanted. <laughs> and that intern, <laughs> always trying to compromise instead of coming to my side, which is obviously the right one. I guess he just doesn't know what to do at all around here. <laughs> and HR, that cockatiel guy, he gets under my feathers. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can help you. What do you mean? <coughs> I think HR might have something to do with the bomb. How do you know? <coughs> He's always on that computer. It's actually where he stores all his planning data. <coughs> if that computer suddenly broke or something, maybe he would talk to you about the bomb. You want me to destroy his computer? <coughs> yeah, I think it might help freshen his memory up. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'm gonna threaten her right now. Debbie, I apo Wait. But it's also shiny. Wait, can I use it with any bird? Oh, shit. Oh my god, Debbie, I'm gonna threaten you right now. Who did the bomb? Hey, what about Joey? How could I make him talk again? Wait, give him something to talk to him. I had a golden knife that was very shiny, but I threw it somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh. Give it to Joey. Oh, Joey wants the shiny. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe, Joe. I got your, uh, I got your shiny knife here, buddy. <coughs> hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Only this shiny knife. <coughs> wow, that's so beautiful. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. <coughs> Can you give it to me? Yes, but only if you tell me what's your connection with that bomb. <coughs> me and the other guy planted it. I helped connect the wires. I only recommend the second digit, which is two. Thanks. <coughs> now give it to me. You! You planted the bomb with Joey! I know now about the bomb. <coughs> Have you confronted Debbie? <coughs> Not yet. Oh. Wait. What about you? <coughs> Have you talked to all of them? Not yet. Oh, I have to talk to literally all of them? Oh, they don't have that gun again. <coughs> gun? Yeah, they had a gun once, but they were fighting. And I threw it in a trash can. It must still... Oh! It must still be there! He said there's a gun in the trash can? Uh... Oh! Debbie! Who fucking made the bomb? Debbie! Hey, I have a little matter I want to talk to you about. What? HR told me you might know something. I need to know. Hey, point that thing away from me, please. Only if you start talking, bird. Start chirping. Start tweedling. Uh, about what? What do you mean I'm scared? About the bomb. Don't play dumb with me. Oh, the bomb? I helped plant it. It was my job to get the explosives. And what's the combination to disarm it? I don't remember. I only remember the third digit was three, I swear. And the first one's one, because it's one, two, three. Good. Now go away, please. And I get to keep the pistol. You watch your fucking face. All right, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Can I destroy this with a weapon? <laughs> HR. <laughs> hey, you destroyed my computer. Why'd you do that? So would you tell me about the bomb? <laughs> you didn't need to use violence. I only helped put the number pad on the bomb. <laughs> I think the first digit of the code was one or something. Cool, thanks. The code's 123, David. Move out of the way. Uh, well, I sh guess I'll tell you. You did it! Oh, you did it? Yeah, it seems like so that somehow all of them agreed on one thing. Put the bomb here. What do you mean? I think they hate you more than they hate each other. Wow, those... But what matters is that the combination is 123. I forgot they had bird brains. Fuck, I just skipped it. My finger slipped. Oh wait, no, I just, okay, there we go. I forgot they had bird brains and couldn't think of anything complex. I should have tried that combination. Well, you shouldn't have tried, no, you don't try, you don't try a combination on a bomb, you have to know. It isn't that obvious. 
Anyways, let's try it. It worked! Thanks a lot! I said I would help. Here, take this as a token of my appreciation. I found it here, and it doesn't belong to any of the planners. Please be the necklace for the floor above me. Oh, I think so! Oh, that's nice. Wait! I think I have something. I think that's important. That's part of the locket for the homie, but it's only half of the locket. Hopefully he forgets what she looks like and he thinks that she just looks like this. Hey, Dante. Is that one half of my amulet? Where did you find it? Somewhere in hell, like you said. Good try, but I won't let you pass. Just that half won't be capable of making me remember her face. Hello, I think I have to talk to you, bro. Can I talk to you real quick? Hey, I need to cross that bridge. I unfortunately can't let you pass. But Malakota said I have to get a book that's on the other side of this bridge. It doesn't matter who told you what. My orders are to let no one pass. Why is that? I don't know. That's strange. It is, is it? I mean, I had a long time to think about this. About how hell has evolved and changed. When I came to work here, it wasn't a building nor a company. But the bridge was already here, and I had to take care of it. And you never knew why? I guess in the beginning, I knew. There were a lot of angry sinners being tortured, and I had to make sure they didn't go to places they shouldn't. But now, hell's a company, and the demons and sinners work together. This bridge makes no sense. You know what? I would do anything to work anywhere else in this building. There must be so many cool things to see. I think I might be able to help you. You do? It would be awesome. Yeah. Then you'd let me pass. I mean, I wouldn't be working on the bridge anymore, so it wouldn't be my problem. Okay then, I'm gonna tell, talk to the guys that brought me into the company, and I'll see if there are any open positions. That's perfect. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Are there any open positions? Any open positions, Ben Affleck? Hey, Virgil. Hey, kid. How are you? I heard you're adapting well to being a demon. Sure. I'm now doing things for Malakota. Oh, I love that guy. He tells the best jokes. He's very cool. But I'm actually trying to help the Minotaur. Don't know if you know him. Oh, yes, I know him. He guards a bridge on the sixth floor, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to get a new job for him. Are you? Why? He just doesn't like guarding a bridge. It lost all meaning for him. That's sad. I hate to see a fellow employee sad with their work. Yeah, me too. I came to ask you if you know of any available spots anywhere in the company. I might actually know one. You see, Aristotle, he's also sad with his position, and we were planning on finally retiring him. He deserves it. So Minotaur could be Limbo's new receptionist? That's right. Take this proposition to him, and it's all done. Oh, that's strangely easy. <laughs> yeah, some things in hell are like this. Hey, nothing's, hey, not everything is hard in hell. Listen, some things are just as easy as that. Let's go, Minotaur, I got a new job for you, buddy. I got it. Marketing. Hey. I'm really working my way up this company. I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to feel myself. Hello, Minotaur. I have something for you, buddy. Here you go. I have good news for you. Do you? I'm so excited. Yeah, I talked to Virgil, and there's an open position for a receptionist in Limbo. Oh, that would be great. I'd love that. So yeah, here's the proposition for you. That's wonderful. It says I can start working there today. Great. So will you let me pass now? For sure. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. I told you guys the Minotaur was the he's the homie. He's the homie. Uh, homie, there's a portal there. Homie, did you know that there was a portal here? There. Oh, wow. What if I go in through this way? Oh. I'm in the library that he was talking about. Oh my god, the door. That's not there, but th that's there. Oh my god. The Book of Destiny! The book he was talking about! Whoa. Larry? Oh no, poor guy died in here. He's just sleeping. Oh, never mind. Okay. I have the Book of Destiny. Destiny book. Yes! Who did I need it for? Maricota? Maricota, I have the Book of Destiny. Here you go, Malakota. Hey, is this the book? Yeah, that's exactly it. Let me see. Wow. What? What did you see? War. War? What do you mean? The horse. War. I knew I should bet on war. He's recovering from an injury, but is indeed a great horse. Okay. Bro, look that fucking... 
bro looked at the, his betting pages first before the company's future. Focus, Malakota, focus. What about hell? Oh, yeah, there's that. Let me see here. Hmm, okay, I see. What? What? Hell is being sold! What do you mean? It's too late. Hell's in the process of being sold to an oil company. It's already in the final stages of negotiation. What do we do? You have to find a way to talk to the devil as soon as you can. Oh, where can I do it? He's in the last floor, the ninth. But Cerberus is guarding the elevator. You must have permission to go in there. Permission? From who? From Balfamit, I think. So I must do this letter thing he asked me to do? Yeah. Do what you have to do and go talk to the devil. He has to know about this. And here, take the book back. Why? Because it's telling me that you must have the book. Wow. And you must also have this weird broken picture thing I found and for some reason kept with me until now. Thank you, Malakota. I appreciate you. That's specific. That's it. Now go, Malakota. I have the picture. I have the book. And I have the letters for the princess of hell. It's time to talk to the devil himself. I wonder what he looks like. Oh my god, we gotta go to the VIP floor. I feel like I've put my whole life and soul into this company, and to see that my hard work is paying off is really something. Hello, Dante. I have this. It's her. It's my love. I knew I would find it. My god, she is so beautiful. Now I remember. I'm suffering right now, not being able to be by her side. Why did you make me suffer like this? It was not my intention. I'm a bad person. I made you suffer. It was my intention. It was. I'm a bad person. Let me through. It was. It was. You wanted any means to pass through these gates, and now you caused my suffering. Maybe you are really a demon. No, I'm sorry. Shut up, Jokathan. We are bad. Work with me, kid. The floor has to think that you betrayed me. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, why did you do this to me? I will never have peace again. Yes, yes. <laughs> I just wanted to see you suffering. That's why I did this. Yes. I know. In the end, you are a true traitor and a wicked demon. Go on, creature of heaven. Only you can save this place. Thank you, Lord Dante. I appreciate you. I'm gonna go save this. I'm gonna go save the, the, the hell. I'm gonna save hell, Dante. It's my. Is that a turnstile? 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 Okay. I don't like that room at all. Oh my god. There's a lot going on here. I have some letters to deliver to the princess. Uh, and that's a chihuahua. That's actually three dogs. That's Cerberus. Hey, Cerberus. Woof. Can't pass. Why? This goes to the devil's den. You don't have woof permission. Uh, okay, fine. I have some letters to, to drop off. Let's go talk to everybody then. Hello, viewer. Hey there, are you lost? I'm actually not. I'm supposed to deliver some letters around here. I see. Thank you. Hey, Asmo As Asmodeus. 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 That's that's it. Hey there, little thing. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Hello. Are you doing lovely today? I am. You are, and I feel you've got something for me. I have? I have. Hello. Hi, Mr. Asmodeus. I have a letter from B B Baphomet for you. A letter? What could it be? Hand to here, please. Oh, some great news for a change. Thank you for your services, darling. Do you need coin or something? I need some top or something. I guess not. Thank you, Asmodeus. Wait, can I give you all the letters? Hey, what is your business? I have a letter for from Baphomet. Oh, these are all the princes? Prin Did I read it as princess? Are they princes? Oh. Are they I don't know. Because I thought it was just one person. It's four. I have a letter from Baphomet. Baphomet? A letter from him would only mean one thing. Let me see. I see. It's close. Okay. What is close? It's not of your concern, my dear courier. Courier. Okay. Sure. Hello. Oh my god, that's a child. Hey, Bal. Hey, Mr. Bal. I have a letter for you. It's from Baphomet, right? It is. I already know what it is. Give it here. Oh yes, just what I was thinking. What is it? You'll know soon enough. Hey, Stolas. Hello, Mr. Stolas. I have a letter for you. A letter from whom? From Baphomet. Oh, it must be concerning the important matter. 
It sure is. Thank you. You're welcome. What is this important matter that everybody's- <gasps> About the selling of the company! I delivered the letters. Now let me in. Woof, can't pass. Why? I don't have permission. I have the book. Why? This goes to the devil's den. You don't have permission. What? Hey, I'm gonna go talk to Baphomet again. I'm gonna go talk to Baphomet again and show him the book and show him that I wasn't lying. Oh fuck, not marketing. And show him that I wasn't lying, that hell is being sold and we need to, we need to figure out what's going on. Wait, is this the right place? No, it was not marketing. It was legal. It was legal. Okay. Yes, I am here. Where is Baphomet? I've done everything you've asked. I delivered the letters. Oh, well, well, well. You did a great job. Oh, well, well, well. Kid, I can easily see you making it to the board of directors one, one day. Hey, I'm a good employee. It's sad that I never will. Oh, well, well, well. Why do you say that? Because hell is being sold to a, a company called Mega Oil. Oh, well, 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 well. What? How, how did you know the company? I put the pieces together. Oh, well, 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 well. Kid, you're you're making serious accusations oh, well, right well, well, well. now. That could get you fired or worse. I don't care. I demand to go talk to Lucifer right oh, now. Well, 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 well. What? You demand what? I want to talk to Lucifer. I want access to the elevator that goes to the devil's den, and I know you can give me access. Oh, well, 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 well. So you can do what? Unsell hell? so I can do something about it. And what exactly do you think Lucifer will do? He's the king of hell. That doesn't mean anything. You know hell was once great. Our names evoked fear in the mortals. Our pits were home to suffering and screams. Now we are a shadow of what we once were, corporate puppies. We discussed how we would take over heaven and how we would torture the damned. Now we only gossip at the water fountain and make photocopies. And Lucifer is part of that decline. He hid in his pit a long time ago, and I never came out. He can't do anything anymore. The deal is closed. You're part of this? Everyone that has any sense of preservation is. Hell is doomed. We're just helping it have a nobler end. Who else is in on this? All the directors. We all decided to close the deal behind the devil's back. What about all the employees? Do you think I give a damn about the damn employees? They're all already in hell. What else could be worse? You're a monster. No, I'm a demon. At least I know what I am. What about you, little angel? I... I... I don't care. Go talk to Lucifer and see what he has to say to you. He's probably in his den crying again. This won't go well for you. For any of you. You have too much faith. Maybe it really was a mistake you fell. Fuck you, Baphomet. Fuck you, Baphomet. Fuck everybody. F you, Matakota. America. F every single one of you. The elephant, Beezlebub, all of you guys. I'm, I'm saving hell if it's the last thing I do. I got the Book of Destiny in my hand. And I'm rewriting Destiny. Hey, Dante. Uh, I have access now. Chihuahua. Woof, I can smell you. What? You have permission. I can smell it on you. Yeah, Baphomet let me pass. Wow, you must be really dumb or really important. Woof. Let me in. I have worked my way up here and it is time to end this. Is that Napoleon Dynamite? Who is the devil? Oh my God. He looks like Bill Nye. Who the hell is that? Lucifer. Hey, uh, it took me a while to get here. Hello? Oh my God. Well, hey there. Are you Lucifer, the devil? Okay. No. I sure am, in the flesh. Oh my God. Why the surprise? I thought you would be more menacing. Okay, no. Well, thousands and thousands of years of fire and brimstones don't do you any good for the skin. I see. Well, Mr. Lucifer, I come here to warn oh you. Oh my God. Warn me about what? Did my tea run out? Why is he such a cutie? No, worse than that. Hell's in danger. Oh, no. What do you mean? Spit it out. The directors are planning to sell hell. Oh, my God. oh I see. What do you mean, I see? Did you know about oh, this? No. Actually, no. But I can't do nothing about it. How? You're the devil. You own this company. Oh, I do, but I haven't controlled it for a long time now. 
So you're willing to let hell be wasted by some oil company just because you're afraid? Okay, no. What can I do about it? I'm old now. I don't think I'm the same ravenous devil from erstwhile. I don't like that word, erstwhile. If you, if I was ever on a date and somebody brings out erstwhile, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. They're paying for it and I'm leaving. <laughs> but you're the boss of hell. If you can't do it, then who can? Like, oh. I don't know, young one. But why? Why did you give up on hell? Okay, no. I love hell. But when you try to organize a place made out of chaos, there's only so much you can do. Oh, my God. I ended up seeing my dream project slowly getting corrupted, I, and I couldn't watch that anymore. Oh, no. So I hid in my den, and I've been here since then. It's not much, but it's something. I think I understand, but I won't give up oh, on hell. God. I love to see your stubbornness. But who are you? I'm an angel. Actually, I fell. But even though I want to save hell, I know my place is not here. Oh, no. A recently fallen angel? I may have an idea. What? Oh, my God. I think you might be able to get more attention to this matter if you talk to the Game Master. <gasps> they were talking about that earlier. The Game Master? But how will oh, I do it? No. Don't underestimate me, kid. I have a path that goes directly into heaven. <laughs> but how? No. You aren't the only fallen angel, kid. Just keep in mind that heaven and hell are more connected than it seems. Oh, no. Now go, enter that door, and you will make it to heaven in no time. Thank you, Mr. Lucifer. You're definitely not as bad as they paint you. Oh, my God. I guess the time has made me soft. Mr. Mr. Lucifer, I don't want to know about your erectile dysfunction. Door to heaven. Ah, oh, I've been in hell for so long. I feel. Oh, okay, why are there casinos? So our angel or demon friend ventures once again into the aleatorium or heaven, if you will. Wish. <laughs> why? Why is heaven a casino? The angel runs through the well-known slot machines and poker tables, looking for the game master's chamber. When the angel finds the doors, they are being guarded by Metatron. What are you doing here, he says. You shouldn't be here. You're a demon now. You're right, but I have to talk to the game master. The former angel says, hell's in danger. In danger? Ha ha, Metatron laughs. Do you think the game master is going to fall for that? It's true, the angel insists. It's all written in this book. When Metatron sees the book of destiny, his tone immediately changes. How did you get that? Metatron asks, shocked. You know what? Give me this. Metatron grabs the book and runs away, leaving the door unprotected. Our angel friend enters the Game Master's chamber. Hello, child, says the Game Master. Hello, Master, says the angel, bowing in respect. You don't need to do that since you don't answer to me anymore. Why did you venture here? The Game Master says. Then the angel tells it all. How Hell's bosses are betraying the devil and plotting to sell it. The Game Master listens to it all in silence. You need to help Hell, the angel exclaims when finishing the story. I can do that, the Game Master says, but first there must be a trial. The trial is held in limbo. The Game Master stands as judge, Metatron as the scribe, and Hell's bosses are the defendants. Malakota is not allowed to be in the courtroom, but he promises the angel he'll help by providing evidence. The angel must convince the game master that hell is innocent and the bosses are the culprits. Hey, hey. The fuck is going on? What the evidence? I have to take. Okay, thank you for the evidence. I'll take it to the judge. I gotta give it to the. <laughs> I have to give it to the game master, sir. I have the evidence. What do you? What do you? What the fuck do I do with it? Do I get you with the evidence? Come here! Um... No! I jump! I see, I see! I see! No, 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah, follow me, big dog. It's gonna be the biggest freaking mistake you ever make in your life. In your life, you hear me? In your life! Wait. Wait! Yes! I'm going to God! Come here, God! Take it! Oh, this is legit a boss fight. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This is tough. This is tough. I see where I have to go, though. I see where I have to go, though. I see where I have to go, though. Thank you. Oh my god. He's good. He's a good guy. He's not a bad guy. I shouldn't have jumped all the way down. I'm stupid. Oh, but we can start parkouring for real. But we can start parkouring for real. Go. I have more, sir. I have more evidence! 
I hear a door open all the way over there. Okay, I'm going. I'm a <laughs> How many times I gotta do this? It's kind of funny. It's a funny boss fight. Yes, I see the health bar and I'm getting better at climbing. Well, well, well. Go. Yes. I have more. Yes, it, okay, I gotta do it nine times. That was three. Oh, there's moving platforms now. Oh my gosh, probably more enemies too. Give me Malakota. Malakota's a good guy. He was always trying to help me from the beginning. I thought he was evil, but Malakota knows what's wrong. And he knows what's right. Oh shit! Yo, 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 oh, I have to banish all three of them. This is the evidence for the elephants. F him, what was his name? Ah, I forget his name, something weird. Give me! Yes! No! Before you get hit, go! Go! Yeah! Why am I getting good at this? Go, what's the next door? I heard it open up there. No problem. Well, slight problem. I'm going back. I can just jump on that box. Okay, well that box is not making it easy for me, so I'm just gonna jump, jump, jump! Oh my god, I'm dodging bullets out here! Give me! This is the last piece of evidence I need to lock this mother effer up. Your crimes against hell will not go unnoticed, brother! Will not go unnoticed! Oh my god! No! Take it! Oh, I need one more. I need one more. Oh, and it's up there, and thankfully, I'm up here. So, uh, well... There we go! Oh! Give me! Why am I low-key killing this, though? Like, like, why am I killing this, though? Why am I going low-key crazy on, on the- on the meat? No! No! I have the last piece of evidence! Okay, this guy takes four pieces of evidence? He's a freaking he's insane! He's insane at the game, he takes four pieces of evidence! Come on! Or is this five? I don't know, I've lost count. I feel like I've done this a lot. There we go, next guy. Oh, he's got a laser beam of death. And he's got a laser beam of death! I'm gonna have to jump over it. hi -ya! Yes! Laser beam ain't gonna do shit, homie! Sorry! Thank you, Malakota. My best friend. My best friend. The only person who's kept it real with me this whole time. Okay. Wow, I didn't want to get hit by the laser and I got a little nervy worthy. Jump! Oh my god, I would have looked so cool right now. Come over here. Jump over it. Okay. Well, I'm Confucian. I'm struggling. I want to jump on that. We'll go right here. Go up, go up! Yes! Oh my god, the moving platforms are goaded. Let's go! Two more, I think. And I heard the door open back there. I'm going. I'm going. Can I do a two for two? Yes! No! <laughs> that would have looked so cool. I was going to use it to, to ride. I was going to use it as a lift. Okay, listen. There's a lot going on, and it's not the easiest. Okay, damn it. Damn it, take me up. Yes. That's my favorite platform right there. That platform's go to this hell. <sighs> Oh, last one. Last piece of evidence and you guys are getting locked up forever. I didn't do this for nothing. Come here. Give me. Let me hop on this. Go! Now! Yes! You guys are done. You guys are done. Get out of here. I put him away. Look at, look at the game master. The gay master? He's he's the master of the gays. Let's go. Hell. Thank you very much. I tried my best to save this world. And I hope I did a good enough job. The angel did it. Hell was saved. The trial brought up a lot of evidence against the directors. They were proven guilty by the angel and arrested for their crimes of conspiracy and corruption. But in a turn of events, a new participant in the plot to see hell was discovered. Metatron. The angel who was responsible for guarding all of heaven's knowledge and the game master's chambers. Turns out he used that knowledge to make a deal with the demons to have a stake in hell's sale. Our hero, the angel, was Jokathan, was actually a victim. Metatron made the angel fall after eavesdropping on a conversation between him, him, him and Baphomet. Him and Baphomet, the angel lost their memory in the fall. It was supposed to be a perfect plan, but the angel's determination won the trial. After the trial, Lucifer started leaving his den more and more. The employees at Hell needed a leading figure after the three bosses were arrested. 
and our hero got to prove their value and became an angel once again. But the angel, who is now an angel officially, gets permission to visit their friends in hell whenever they want. Yes. That was kind of epic with the, with the music drop at the same time. Come on, that was kind of cool sounding. Okay, Come on. Heaven and hell are at peace once and for all, or at least until the next apocalyptic event. We saved them! We saved hell! We did it! Hell is free! Yes, no more injustice going on in my parts of town! <laughs>